Roswell Flight Test Crew here, out today with a local fire department looking at potential applications for small unmanned aircraft systems. More specifically, we're going to use Raven to locate a lost swimmer in a river. All right, let's get to it. This is a drill. Repeating, this is a drill. C1, water rescue, engine 9. Respond to the Valley River footbridge on Metro 9, 10, 10, 30. For this exercise, we set up our ground station on a pedestrian bridge across the Willamette River. According to the scenario, a man on the bridge witnessed an inner tuber capsize and then swim in the direction of a small wooded island upstream. While Tekkenstein rigged up our gear, I used a laser rangefinder to check the distance to the island. That's 600 feet. Easy. In fact, our subject was another firefighter who was staged on the island to test RQ-CX-3 Raven's effectiveness versus conventional search techniques. Okay, so the fireboat just dropped off our victim on one of these islands up here, but from this bridge, which has an excellent view of the surrounding area, we cannot see that person. So this hopefully will be a good test of whether or not the drone allows you to find something that you couldn't find easily with other means. After a final check of Raven systems, it was time to go flying. Okay, so th for this mission, we have three cameras on Raven currently. We have our standard low light backup camera. This is a GoPro 2. This is a FLIR Tau 2 640. And we have an onboard camera switch so we can select any one of the cameras in real time in the air. At the same time, the firefighters were preparing to implement their standard search pattern. So I'm going to be heading down to the bank here doing a bank search. Uh, I'm going to be heading to the last point seen and then uh, doing about 100 feet down search and then 100 feet up search and see, see what we can come up with. With Raven Airborne and speeding up river, the incident commander donned our extra set of video goggles to monitor the search. Switching over to the FLIR thermal imaging camera, our victim was easy to pick out among the foliage, even though he was impossible to see using visible light. Tekkenstein learned something else that may prove useful in future search missions. One thing that really worked out well is having the incident commander behind a set of goggles. He noticed something I completely missed at first. I was busy worrying about the aircraft, performance, not hitting trees, and he spotted the subject. He, he found the person before I did the FLIR. With the victim located, the incident commander was able to direct the fireboat right to his exact location. Afterward, he gave us his impression of the drone's effectiveness. From my perspective as an incident commander or as a first-in officer on a water rescue situation, uh, is invaluable being able to have eyes down the river inside of anywhere from four to six or seven minutes because time in the water in a water situation is so critical. The body's robbed of heat. These patients don't have long to be in the water or survive in the water before we can get there. And then being able to direct uh, the on-water crews directly to them and they're going to know right where they are right away sooner than later and uh, time is money when you're on the water. <laughs> Well, I think they work pretty well, actually. Yeah, I'd say we're well on our way to proving this technology has potential applications in public safety. Well, hope you're watching. See you next time. All right, fly safe.